how big is just the familiarity between Everett and the receivers that he really hasn't worked with, and what are you sort of hoping to develop over these? 15 well, years? I think that's that's the one thing that's going to take some time, and you know, there's some new things offensively that some of these young receivers haven't run. You know, with with me being involved in the offense, you know, some routes that they hadn't run. A Chris Brown is not familiar with. A Will Fuller is not familiar with. Um, you know, those guys are not familiar with some of those things. So that's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, they're, they're going to have all summer working with each other, uh, and, and that'll happen. We're a little bit off in some of those things. The quarterback's accuracy is a little off today because, you know, it's really the first time where they've been together. Um, but in terms of understanding what we want, uh, in terms of the way they competed today, um, really feel good about all that. The, the, the rest will take some time, granted, uh, but um, that we have. Brent, I don't want to overstate the Whitfield experience, but overall, are you glad that he did that? And, and what do you think he got out of that? I think, and, and I think I kind of alluded to this in, in some of the film study that I had with him, Everett, that is, there was definitely a conceptual awareness that he had lacked at some times with the passing game. And he clearly has that. It's, it's an easier conversation for him. Uh, if, if, if I could give you a, the, the best way to, to explain it would be when, when, when he would explain his progression, it might take him 10 seconds. Well, you got 2.6 seconds to throw the ball. Now he's precise in his communication as to what his progression is. That tells me a lot. Um, and so he's definitely made some strides, and I think there must have been uh, some real good teaching there that, that has allowed him you know, that opportunity to, to come in here and, and have a, a better sense of everything. Brian, I don't know if it's oversimplifying it too, but you need your quarterback to be really good. Is he ultimately going to be is it kind of on effort to have everything look the way you want it to look, even though there's maybe 10 other guys out there, obviously? Absolutely. I think, you know, we could – look, your offensive line has to play well. He's got to protect the quarterback. You know, we've got to run the ball effectively, take care of it. But I think we all know college football and where it is, the quarterback is really going to be the centerpiece of this offense and the way we run it, and it's going to fall on him. And uh, today was a very good day for him in a first day. And, again, we all live in the same world when it comes to the Notre Dame quarterback. And we're going to heap a lot on this kid's shoulders. Um, and he knows that. And that's why he came back to Notre Dame, um, be, because he wants that uh, opportunity. Uh, but clearly, uh, you know, he, he's going to be the guy that drives this force. Early impression just of him working with Matt Clark and Mary Yeah, a lot of smiles. Uh, and I think there's, there's good communication. There's a good connection uh, early on. You can sense that um, there's a, there's going to be a strong relationship there.